The single most important thing that I want you to take away from today's webinar is there is no foolproof dictionary on how to interpret nonverbal messages, thus making it a challenge to accurately interpret one element or even a series of elements of our nonverbal communication. Studying nonverbal communication does not make you a mind reader. Yet, when I tell people that I'm writing this presentation, the usual response I get is, oh, I bet you're trying to read my thoughts right now. This is not the case. However, I do believe that enhanced perception of nonverbal communication can enhance relationships with work colleagues and significant others, as well as augmenting task engagement and job satisfaction within the workplace. Research over the years has identified four major zones. The public zone is set at a distance of around four or more meters away and is used for speeches, lectures, and theater. In essence, public distance is the distance range reserved for larger audiences. The social zone, at a distance of around one to four meters, is reserved for strangers, newly formed groups, and new acquaintances. The personal zone, between one half of a meter and a meter away, is used for conversations with friends and to chat with associates or to participate within a group discussion. And finally, the intimate zone, between zero and 50 centimeters away, is the zone reserved for close friends, lovers, children, and close family members. From their findings, they surmise that the perfect handshake should incorporate seven steps. Maintain good eye contact, smile if appropriate, extend your arm with a slight bend at the elbow, point your hand downwards as you move your fingers towards the other person's hand, clasp hands with equal pressure, and golf, and after a second or so, release.